We continue with our project from last time. The car can now sense what's around it and get damaged by the road borders like this. We'll next add traffic into the mix and update the collision and sensor code to consider these objects as well. There are no new algorithms here really, just reusing existing components to build new ones. It's best if you code along with me, so open your project and if you want to have this exact same version I'm using, then get it from GitHub. That should get you out of any traffic jam. Get it? Traffic jam? Because we're implementing the... No, no, no! Gonna code, debug and have fun. Coding with Radu. Coding with Radu. Gonna prototype and design. Coding with Radu. Coding with Radu. Let's code now. This is quite lonely, don't you think? It's time to add some traffic. Without it, making it a self-driving car is not much of a challenge. You just press the up arrow key and perfect driving. <laughs> so let's add traffic next. I'm gonna go in main.js and uh, up here I'm going to write const traffic is equal to and this is going to be an array of cars, pretty much. I'm going to add another car here that is on the same lane as our car that we were used to, but I'm going to put it in front and it's going to be our first obstacle that we need to avoid. Now here we need to update this as well. So I'm going to go through all the cars in our traffic and I'm going to tell each of them to update and keep in mind the road borders. Or you can also pass there an empty array instead of the borders if you want the traffic to be invulnerable to everything. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it there for now, let's see later. And uh, we need to draw these as well. So I'm going to go here, another for loop going through all the things in the traffic now we just have one thing, but this is going to be a general code. And it's going to draw each of them on the canvas like that. Now I save the file, refresh the page, and there is another car in front of us. And if we press the arrow keys, something strange happens. We are not controlling our car anymore. We are controlling the other car. And that's because the key listeners are being overwritten from the original car to the last car in the traffic. We're gonna need to specify which car gets these controls and which not. So I'm going to go up here and tell this car to have here keys. And I'm gonna say this one to be just a dummy. Maybe we will have it move slowly or stand still or, or something like that. Dummy cars will have some very simple behavior. And now we are going to go to car.js and in the constructor here I'm going to also pass control type, so either keys or dummy, and I'm going to pass this to the controls as well. And in controls.js this constructor will get a type like so and here we are going to switch according to the type and we are going to say that in case it was keys we are doing that break and in case this is a dummy i'm going to set forward to true and break now i save this refresh and <laughs> the car in front the car in front moved and I actually can't catch it because we have the same movement speed. I mean uh, max speed. So it would be nice to go here in the car constructor and maybe specify here a value for this max speed. Let's have it default to 3 but allow um, us to change it from the main file. 
So in main.js here, I'm going to set a value of two for the dummy, save this, refresh, and now I can actually catch that dummy. <laughs> so far, the sensors are not reading this dummy car and we're not even getting damaged by it. We'll take care of that in a sec, but first, this scene is becoming a bit too crowded with all these lines, and the dummy car doesn't really need a sensor. So I'm going to disable this by going to our car.js, and if control type is not dummy, then we will equip this car with the sensor. And later, where we update the sensor, we will check if this sensor exists and only then update it. And same goes down below for the drawing. So if there is a sensor, then we are going to draw it. And now, if I refresh, that car in front doesn't have any sensors, doesn't draw any sensors. Uh, it's just a dummy going at a fixed max speed there on the road. Let's interact with it. I'm gonna go here in main.js and where we update here our car, I'm also going to pass the traffic. And because I'm going to write some general code here, this is going to be needed here in the traffic update as well. But I'm just going to pass nothing here. Because if I do pass traffic here, then that means that the car in traffic is going to interact with itself. So it's just going to get damaged by itself. And I would need to write some code to prevent that. I'm also thinking about later when we do some more complex simulations and we have a bunch of cars. I don't want to have a lot of broken down cars on the road and blockades. So I think that I don't want the traffic to get damaged when it's touching other traffic or us. So I'm leaving it empty here in case of the traffic. I'm saving this file and then I'm going to our car and in our update method here, I'm going to pass traffic as well. And this is going to be needed inside the assess damage here. We will assess damage with the traffic as well, but also in the sensor update. The sensor will perceive the traffic as well. Let's do this assess damage first. It's quite easy. I'm going to pass traffic and I'm just going to copy this code and replace here road borders with traffic and here road borders with traffic of i dot polygon. I think it's right. I save this refresh and now when I press up I'm catching 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 that car and when we collide I'm damaged. It's not damaged because our car it's not in its traffic list but feel free to play with the code and make it like that if you wish. Now let's do the sensors as well. So the sensor update here gets the traffic. I'm gonna go now to sensor.js and pass the traffic here as well. And also to this get reading here. Let me just write it a bit nicer so you can see this on screen, like so. And the get reading has now a traffic to deal with as well. So our touches, the things that the rays are going to intersect maybe road borders, but now polygon segments from the traffic cars. Let's do this. I'm gonna go here below and I will say 
i going through the traffic like this i will get a poly i'm doing this just so that i don't repeat traffic of i dot polygon everywhere and now i'm going to go through all of the points in that polygon and get an intersection value using our utility function from ray of zero and ray of one so this is the same as there but here we are going to take the polygon j point and j point plus one with our modulo trick now if there is a value here then we add it to our touches as well and that's it let's save and test okay because the traffic cars are black and my ray turns black as it touches the nearest segment of its polygon i don't see things very clearly let me color the cars differently so that our car is blue and uh, the traffic is red i'm gonna go in main js and here let's draw this one as blue and the traffic as red like this and inside car js i'm going to go down to our draw method here and say color and the non-damaged color is going to be color we save this refresh and now we can actually see that ray turning black like that. And our sensors are reading that there is something in front of it. And they are working from all different angles. Let me try a trick I saw once in, uh, what was it? Fast and Furious, maybe. Uh, it was much better in that movie. Okay. It went right through us. Were you able to follow along? Then great. Please like this video if you learned something today and share it with others so they can learn as well. And if you got stuck somewhere, comment below and I'll try to help. You can get today's code from GitHub and the full code is actually already on my website. Check it out if you can't wait till the end of the course. See you guys.